So I purchased a $270 pair Kevlar jeans for cheap. Let's discuss that. So Dragon Jeans, a name I'm sure you've heard of before if you're into motorcycle apparel in any way. Here in Melbourne, they have a once a year sale where they will sell factory seconds, uh, imperfect jeans or just overstock lines. Last year I did go along, I discovered that there was nothing left in my size apart for some ugly uh, camouflage chino style pants that I didn't want. So this year I made the effort to get there not very long after they opened. They opened at nine, I was there by quarter past. It was already bustling, it was already very busy. Ultimately, I managed to find a good pair that I liked in my size, so I grabbed them. So normally, if you look on their website, these jeans, I think it's 259 or 269, can't quite remember now that I'm out on the bike. That is the price they have on them. Yesterday, this pair that I'm now wearing was $50. That's right, $50. How can you not buy them? I, I probably should have grabbed a couple of pairs and just stored them in the cupboard. You don't think that far ahead normally, do you? So this is my first outing with them. And what are my initial reactions? Well, let's give a quick brief down of the other jeans I have. So I have a pair of Grin Factor jeans. Now these were the very first pair of Kevlar jeans that I purchased because previous to that, I was wearing leather. Look good in leather. Good old Cody Chestnut. Um, so yes, previously to that, I was wearing leather and decided to go down the jeans path because naked bike and that's more suited to this thing's riding style. So Grin Factor. The Grin Factor jeans I have, oh, I think cost me just on 100, maybe just over, with a voucher or something to that sort of terms incredibly thick incredibly heavy incredibly well made now out of production they're now called road skin i don't know if they're quite the same but they don't kind of look it the downside to those ridiculously hot incredibly hot the next pair i got were a pair of rjs now the rjs are just like normal jeans so much like normal jeans that I wouldn't actually like to come off in them. However, nice and cool for the summer. These, somewhere in between. It's a little on the cooler side today at about 14, 15 degrees, but I don't feel cold in them. So they're doing a good job of blocking the wind, but at the same time, they're not incredibly heavy. So I think they'll be pretty good in the summer. Bear in mind that in the summer is when I ride a little bit more, although it's the middle of winter now, and I'm getting some good riding days in. So what do I think? Look, for $270, they're a complete ripoff. You can find them a lot cheaper if you look around. I typically see them around the $200 mark, but at 50 bucks, come on, that's a no-brainer. Why would you not buy them? What, you know, if you just grab them. There was blokes there just grabbing anything, I think. I get my suspicions there will probably be some crop up for sale in a few months on eBay. Dragon jeans, love the product, never liked the price. Once a year sale, I'll be back next year to probably grab as many pairs as I can. The bike. Now if you like what you've seen, over there is a subscribe button. Down there is a Patreon button and down there is another video for you to watch. So click one of those. Woohoo!